All right, welcome to Wild of Eldrain. I have a draft box. I have a set box. I have the commander decks. Got a blue black fairy, and we got a green white enchantment build, which I will, hopefully we're gonna pull some of these cards, but they have a new enchantment, you know, kind of subtype. Um, and then we also have the bundle. I know I'm a little zoomed in here. Got a new setup going on. I, I keep the phone, I'm, I'm filming with an iPhone 13 Pro. This actually might be the last time I use this because the new iPhone 15 is supposed to come out, but another topic for another day. Um, I will be getting that phone if it has USB-C. Anyways, the bundle comes with the oversized purple fuchsia colored dice. It looks cool in person. I'm not gonna open it, this is for my coworker. And then it also comes with the Alt Art Lich Knight's Conquest, which again, uh, not a great card, but again, bundles are bundles, which again, if you had the uh, Lord of the Rings bundle, it's still, it's still holding strong with the one ring being included in every bundle. All right, with that being said, we are going to open up one set box. I have kind of pre-cut pre this, so just not to waste so much time. And again, what's really cool about this product is one, we're back at Eldrain. Two, I love the adventure mechanic. And three, I believe this is the first standard set to not only include adventure as a card type, but also the sagas in, in this as well. So, eh, a, little, a little tight. That's what she said, haha. Uh, Sir Ginger, the flavor is on point. If you followed Eldrain, they had a trailer, uh, like a CGI type trailer, and spoiler alert, Garrick eats the boy version of this cookie. She's mad and she hates Planeswalkers. Um, 30 set packs. I attended the pre-release. I don't know if I'm gonna make a video of my, you know, one and only pre-release that I attended, but I did go, it was packed per win. I started out three and oh, got to the final round and lost to the eventual store champion. So I finished uh, three and one and I loved it. I played Soul Tie. I really don't want to go over the cards because if my coworker watches this, we plan on playing a lot this weekend, and I don't want him to kind of give any heads up to, to see how my deck was going. Um, and again, I guess uh, cards, uh, Moonshaker Calvary, Beseech the Mirror, the Soul Cauldron, I love the Virtue um, cycle. They're all mythics. If we pull the turtle, it is like the only creature that actually does um what that does first and foremost uh every pack is going to contain one of these and you can tell from the set symbol here w-o-t an enchanting tales where this is a uh an enchantment from magic's past history and you could use this in a limited so similar to the brothers war retro artifacts the strixhaven um archive cards with the instance and then uh we just had this with um uh, was it March the Machines, where you got a, a random legendary from Magic's history? So we're gonna, wow, we're off to a great start here. We got Smothering Tithe. I, I'm on a, I'm a roll from getting all those. Uh, Gruff Triplets. We're, we're gonna, um, we're gonna group these up here. We got our Enchanting Tales. We got our Rares, and then I'm not gonna really go over too much in the Uncommons and Commons. I think uh, I don't really know how I'm gonna group these. I think I'm just gonna do. Commons, uncommons. Not gonna go into too much detail, but that's a great pack. Not, not. I mean, Gruff Triplets is a solid card for limited. Um, I'm, I've been trading a lot of mono green pioneer pieces away to to build other decks. I don't know if that has a chance to uh, uh, make it, but um, kind of a signed art card. Oh yeah, there's also the list. And speaking of, we have one right here. Bake into the pie. Not, not a, not a great list hit, but uh, yeah, we got one. Hopefully you get seven or eight list cards. And then, um, looks like back-to-back -back foil Enchanting Tales. We got a double Uncommon Raid Bombardment and Apprentice Folly. Oh, and a double Gumdrop Poisoner. Man, this is, we're getting a lot of hits in this one. Um, I'm not really going to go into the commons and uncommons. Just mainly because we got cards to look at that are worth value. There's not a lot of value in this set. It's very mythic, top-heavy right now. There are some format defining cards. I did pre-order one called Beseech the Mirror. I'd love to get a play set. I'm waiting for prices to cool. 
Oh, by the way, if we were to get any of these, I need Blood Moons, I need Ristic Studies, I need Bitter Blossom, I need three more copies of Spreading Seas. Okay, we got, oh, and Manlands are back. And then we got some Uncommons. If I, uh, they upshifted this to Uncommon, I hate to bring more attention to that, but uh, it is what it is. And then also, um, this is our first of the full art land. This is actually not anything CGI. This is not anything um, drawn out. This is an actual uh, shadow box that uh, the artists, I think there's two artists that do that. That's what they do. They, they make these shadow box cutouts and then they, you know, put it through some color background and then they take photos of it. So I thought that was really cool. Um, we got food token, and then, okay, look, we got a showcase frame, we got a bunny, and that is our foil rare. I mean, I started out, that's going in my wall deck, by the way. Um, oh, okay, and then we also have these, these are um, the commander cards, they're going to have this little different symbol here, this is one that I really wanted, it's basically a mana fixer, it really benefits uh, mono colored decks, I'm going to put that down there. Oh, up the beanstalk, great card for limited. I now have one. I think that's my first copy. And Slide of Hand is back. Uh, important for Pioneer. <laughs> Again, I'm bringing attention to the comments when I said I wouldn't. But um, I think that's only my second copy. Wow. Okay. Uh, great list card for me because I need this. I need this for uh, like a Dark Depths deck. This is my second copy of Minsk and Boo. And now I don't have to buy another one. That is a great list hit for me. We got Intruder Alarm. And then we got the Bundle card. And we got Scalding Viper. I don't know if this is going to be any good. Um, but anyway, I loved Original Eldraine. I don't know what it is with the adventure mechanic. I tend to do very well. Um, when I said this was the first standard set that did uh, adventure cards with sagas, we also had Baldur's Gate, or essentially Commander Legends 2, where, oh, look, Phyrexian Unlife. Real cool. I like the original art, but I really, I really like this stuff. We got Goose Hydra Mom. Oh, okay, so this is, I need this for my fairy deck. That's my first one. When another fairy enters the battlefield under control, each opponent loses one life. I'm sure, that might even be in the bundle. I don't know. But, uh, we got another one. Here's the Swamp version of the full art. So far, two list cards. Um, no base set mythics, but we got Smothering Tight. I don't know if it's going to be worth a lot, but now I don't actually have to... Here's the Ashiok tokens. Um, okay, I'll take more of that. Enchanting Tail. Bulk Rare. And yeah, yeah, we got the Sagas. I know I was kind of bringing attention to them earlier. But yeah, I really, 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 really enjoy just Eldraine in general. Um, I'll put that down there. I actually try to collect all those. I'm going to try to get a complete set of this. Yay! Okay, this is our first of the virtual line. I think black is probably the one everybody wants. But uh, that's our first of the, that's our first base set mythic. Um, you know, for two mana, as an instant speed, you make a 2-2 two, two Vigilance, and then for five mana, you put a plus one, plus one counter on all your creatures, and then you untap them. It's so good. I know it's five mana. It, I mean, and then, hey, tough cookie. It, I love the theme. This feels very borderline um, unfinity with some of the art. And again, I'm bringing a lot of attention. That here's how the power level creep of magic is. Divination, two colorless, one blue, draw two cards. It's always been sorcery. Now... It's an instant called Quick Study. So yeah, it's it's just, you know, little things I've noticed playing Magic now over the years. Uh, that was pack eight. Got one Mythic, two list. Um, we got one Mythic from the, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, one Mythic from the base set as well. They reprinted, I don't know if I'm going to pull it, but they reprinted um, Prophetic Prism. They reprinted, um, God, what's that one? Soul Guide Lantern. They reprinted that. Uh, obviously, we just saw the uh, 
We just saw hey, Utopia, Utopia Straw. I'll take another playset. I only have four of them, and um, you know, I, I run it in Popper. This one was a house for me in Limited. Uh, not like a format defining card, but it's very great for blue black fairies. I really don't want that mythic. <laughs> But if I do get it, I will get it. It's a, it's a Mythic Adventure Giant card. Uh, plays the Teamer Colors. Okay, Crystal Grotto is back. Copy Enchantment is back for me. Hatching Plans. Ignis Prodigy. Edgewall Inn is really good with Adventures too. Didn't pull it in the pre-release. I guess my opponents for pre-release, again, I was playing Sultai, Green, Black, Blue. All right, so that was the first 10 packs. We got one commander card, we got two lists, and I guess a total of two mythics. We're kind of behind on the mythics, but again, two thirds of the box remain. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it. You know, I'm gonna clean up every 10. I'm gonna clean up, clean up here. We got Stab Wound, Lord Skitter's Blessing, Tempting Apple. I'm getting more uncommons than commons in this set and that's the, that's what happens when you get these um when you get these set boxes here you get more uncommons now so um well i don't know if we're gonna we're this is a real small sample size we only got one but i think polluted bonds sir ginger that's actually my third copy uh rally research sir ginger the flavor is so cool I'm not going to read it, but it's, uh, I think, I think it's a cool card. It's a cool card. Got some food. Garuk's Uprising. Oh, bulk. Well, I'm not doing good. Okay, here's Soul Guide Lan Lantern with new art. Looks pretty cool. This was a really cool card, because it's on curve. When you play these adventure spells, you know, at instant speed, return target spell to owner's hand, kind of like a remand without drawing the card. But then at four mana, assuming you have the mana the next turn, on turn three, turn four, now you play two, three flyer that when it comes into the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. Um, really good. Not like, you know, I don't think as powerful as, say, uh, original Eldraine, but it's one of the better ones. It's definitely no bone crusher. You know, when you play two mana, two damage to anything, and then, okay, we got our third list card here from Eldraine. Compulsion. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> here is the um, Mythic Giant that uh, basically it's probably the most synergy you can get from a uh, from Adventures. Um, Shiki House Mouse. And we got a foil one of those lands. And our second art card, usually when I... Oh, yeah, yeah. And there is a chance to get um, anime art for the... Uh, Typically, they're from from the. Oh, I mean, this isn't my first box that I've opened. I've opened probably three of these at my local game store, um, just to help the store owner, um, just to kind of help him move product to be sold that day. And yeah, evolving wilds. Um, and so, what I've noticed from that sample size of me opening three to four set boxes is that you get about one to two of those um, Japanese-style art for the uh, for the anime. And they're really good. They're, some of them are really good. So um, let's hope I pull one. We got a Ley Line. Nightly Valor. Lifeless Moon. Do, 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 do. Not doing good so far. I mean, I got one cool Mythic. I'm going to play it. It's just not... We need Beseech the Mirror, we need the Soul Cauldron, we need the Calvary. We need, we need, we need good stuff. Wow, look at this, Oko the Trickster. I'm getting all Eldrain, uh, except for the Mint. I'm getting all Eldrain list cards. That's the fourth list. Um, pretty cool there, only one of these. Rats, yeah, rats is a big thing um, in this, this set. They've kind of pushed that. I don't know if it's gonna be overpowered, but and then here's the blue version of those plans. All right, so we're definitely more than halfway through the box. This is pack number 29. Finally, okay, so we got these uh, token enchantments. They call them rolls. 
and they count as enchantments and they they give you abilities like monster is plus one plus one trample sorcerer is plus one plus one whenever this creature attacks you scry one and they get put on the creatures and with um okay so at first i was like wait wait this is actually a jumpstart card number 309 i'm gonna put that off to the side uh i need more of these this is, I think, the only answer aggro has against Shieldred for um, Pioneer and Standard right now. But anyways, uh, yeah, the enchantments, um, what I liked about this format is they, they you get food, and food does slow the game down, but you also, um, you also can do stuff with your food other than gain life. And by doing so, hey, there's the beast token. I actually needed this during the pre-release. Um, by doing so, Leyline, oh, this third mythic, Italian, the kindly lord. I'm actually gonna like this. This this might require. I think this will get better. I just don't know. It's a three four flyer for four mana, so it's obviously competing with Shieldred in standard and pioneer right now. And the fact that it's two colors kind of hurts it. But then you choose a number between one and ten, and when the opponent casts a spell with a mana value, power, or toughness equal to that number, they lose two life, and you draw a card. I think that's got a lot of potential. I just don't know what style. Oh, yeah, and then they are also reprinting uh, reprinting glass casket. I just don't know. So it's fine. Um, actually, I mean, the flavor is good. I don't know if it's going to be worth much. There's the red version of that. Anyways, that was pack 20. We're down to our final 10 of this set box. And outside that smothering type, uh, my enchanting tails have been a very big swing and a miss. And we now have our... Uh, fifth list card here from Original Time Spiral. We have Aggravated Assault with the anime art. That's how you can kind of tell. The Japanese artists with their English and Japanese. So, Aggravated Assault. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Dark Tutelage. Here's Harry. And we got our fourth mythic, Hilda of the Icy Crown. Now, I don't know how I'm going to tap down a lot of stuff, but it's, you know, it's it's a potential. So I think after seeing four mythics like that, I might only get one, maybe two, and I don't see myself getting a beseech the bear. So you know, remain remain positive. Remain, oh, okay. This isn't. I'm getting good list here. I mean, they're not home runs, but this is like six to eight bucks because clue foods tokens you essentially double them. And this was a Modern Horizons 2 rare that I'm glad I don't have to buy. I'm getting a lot of the ley lines. I'm getting a lot of these bunnies. Um, okay, cool. That was uh, this third wave here, the, the last of the 30. And I'm not going to bother counting. Uh, again, small sample size. I think uh, I've opened up enough of this, just not on camera, so... Obviously, I'm not pulling the home runs, so it looks like I'm going to be having to buy a lot of the uh, pricier cards in here. And the Enchanting Tales, I have, I mean, I have Smothering Tithe. I'm not going to complain that I didn't get it, but it's not, uh, I need Blood Moons. I need, um, in fact, let me, let me look real quick. I need Ristic Study, Blood Moons, um, Doubling Season? But again, I'm, those are like the top, t top tier to get money. Oh, this isn't even really a three bowls of porridge, stab wound, ground seal. I haven't even gotten one of the uh, spreading seas, so maybe I'm going to have to buy them after all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's clean up, clean up. All right, so four base set mythics. I'm expecting five at this point. I'll be lucky to get six. And I think only one of the Enchanting Tales, unless that Aggravated Assault counted as one. If it did, cool, whatever. I'm getting all the ley lines. I got a bunny. Okay, Court of Arndale. Um, pretty solid. It's going up. I think it's three bucks. I think it's one of the one of the better ones. There's Prophetic Prism. There's the art for the land. And our art card. We're down to that was pack number 24. Or 25, actually. So we're down to the final five. We got a Knightly Valor foil. We got a Dragon Mantle. 
Flare Box, that's my third one. Okay. I'd like that, Greater Oromancy. I was really hype on this set. I, I think they're gonna do a small thing for Ixalan where every pack has a chance to contain something. But with this being, um, hey, there we go, Spreading Seas. Now I just need to buy two of them. Farsight Ritual, some Showcase. This is not a good box, folks. Unless I just, unless I get the Beseech, which I really want. Beseech the Mirror, you pay one and triple black, and you essentially search your library for any card, and if you sacrificed a, um, okay, there's our fifth myth mythic, Kellen. It's more of like a win more for, uh, a win more for equipment decks. It's just a different way of playing it. So I think I got two packs left. That might have been it. Sorry for the camera bump. Yeah, Beseech the Mirror, you pay one and three black, you search your library for a card. If you bargain, which is sacking an artifact, um, enchantment, or aura, you uh, essentially get to search for anything. And there's my seventh list card. And uh, you get to search for anything four or less and put it down into play, which is a really cool. Twinning Twins, I got a lot of those actually. Oh no, we're down to our last pack. I just based on what I'm seeing here, they're really restricting the um, the commander cards in this. I have not gotten any of the uh, magic version of Secret Layer, and I just saw this card. <laughs> uh, it's another Eldrain. It's a great list card. My list is carrying this box right now. Questing Beast. I believe that is my fourth copy, so I will definitely take it. Cursed Courier. Compulsion. And the Troll. And no Beseech the Mirror. Very, very base set empty here. Alright. Well, I got really good list, and that was about it. I got another signed art card. I don't care about those. Got some... Uh, you know, these two are decent. Um, but yeah, let's... So I got eight lists. Hmm. Four, eight lists, with two of them being ones to save me about 15 to 20 bucks. Five, six, seven, eight, 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 Instead, I got 35 out of 30 of these packs. Um, I guess I would have gotten more of these because I'm not only I'm only getting 30, whereas in a draft um, a set box I'm only getting. Um, I mean, a draft box you get 36, in this you only get 35. With uh, maybe you know some extra. Actually, I, you know what? Take that back. I did get multiple packs with some. I guess commons uncommons. It's almost identical. Maybe within a card or two. So, again, these are only 12-card packs. These aren't 15. So I really don't know where the value is. Obviously, you can't... You can play with these, but it's not the same experience. So, eh, looks like I'm going to have you buying some singles, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later.